okay so let's talk about this uh, true error how we can calculate the true error uh, for example if you want to calculate the true error the percentage true relative error you have now the approximate value and you can directly calculate the value of uh, e raised to the power of 0 0.5 because you know the value of e is actually equal to 2.71828 so and if you want to calculate the value e raised to the power uh, or the true value if you want to calculate you can calculate the true value true value is actually uh, 2.71828 to raise the power 0 0.5 so this is the true value and if you just copy it here so you can see it is the same for all these cases so if you see here so our calculated value at term 6 and beyond term 6 they are pretty close to the true value so now we can calculate the percentage true relative error how we can calculate we have the true value and we have the approximate value divided by the true value multiplied by 100 so if you calculate you can calculate by this way and if you uh, repeat this for all cells you can see now that this is uh, the error the true error in this case is uh, like 0.0000666 percent it's very very less error and, and the same is here and if you keep on increasing your error will become lesser lesser and lesser so based upon that i gave you a homework and most of you have completed but just uh, i mean how you can handle this here in the in the exercise for example in the problems you can use uh, this 3.6 uh, uh, problem and you can solve both ways uh, what is the purpose of all this exercise I mean th there's a question that if we have the value of e and we have the value of x so why not to calculate the two values by just raised to power e raised to the power 0 0.5 uh, in most of the cases in this case we have the true answer we have the uh, accurate value but in most of the cases when we do calculations we don't have the true answers and the true values because we just simplify one uh, one expression one physical phenomena into a numerical form and we solve it by using some numerical method so in that case we have to see where the percentage approximate error is lesser than the acceptable error so in most of the cases in uh, calculations we don't have these two things but in this example as we have and for the comparison purpose we can use it the same uh, I mean the same procedure you can adopt for the problem 3.6 of your book okay so this is the one part now the next part is about the round of errors and also we can call sometimes as the chopping errors or the fraction round of errors and the chopping errors so what are the round of errors round of errors you know that sometimes we round the values and when we round the values so there is some error generated in the numbers due to rounding it off sometimes we uh, for example if it is like 2.718 we call it 2.72 instead of 1 8 we just round 1 8 to 2 so, and in the but in the computers for example like these numbers pi e square root of 7 for example if you see that what is the value of square root of 7 how much is this 1 over 7 um, raised to the power 0 0.5 so if you expand this you can see it's 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 a big number so and you know in computers when we have to store these numbers we have bits in a 16-bit computer 
we we have a bit which is composed of 16 and in that 16 uh, bit the first bit is for the sign and the remaining 15 bits are for the numbers and for it and computer most of the computers basically uh, use binary system so if you see a number which is in binary 173 so in, in the decimal if it is 173 so how we can write this number into a binary system like this so it means like 173 is equivalent to a binary number of 101101101 but on the on the other side if we have a number like this a very long number and we have to convert this into a binary number i mean 173 so it is resulting like how many digits um, how many bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 bits so it is consuming 8 bits so what will happen uh, what will happen if i have to convert this dec decimal into a binary number system so in that case i mean i, I can't do that it it's because the size uh, of a 16 bit is a limited size and we have just 15 boxes and out of that we, we can't go uh, for beyond 15 now we have now uh, the computers which are 32 bit which are even 64 bit again the, the, and the question is same that so uh, instead of storing such a big number sometimes either we round off these values for example maybe we can say this value is equal to decimal value of 0 0.378 and we convert this into a binary and then we store it in the uh, in the uh, computer or in a 16-bit one uh, I mean in a 16-bit operating system okay so that is the purpose that why we cannot uh, store the full values because sometimes the value expressions like square root of 7 pi e and some other values they are very long uh, and we cannot store in in a computer so we have to either round off these values or we have to truncate or we have to just consume like seven or three or six digits uh, okay this MBE this is something uh, like uh, for example if you have a number number uh, Eight and you represent this number into a decimal system so this 8 is actually the uh, mantissa and base is 10 and this is the exponent so yeah this is the same thing how you store a number the same example for example 1 over 34 if you have to store in a computer so it, it is a very long digit and we convert into just four numbers and we use these four numbers in, in our calculations but in, in doing that we actually generate error for example let's talk one simple example uh, of chopping we have the pi value of 3.14 this is the actual value of pi but if we are going to chop it off we just consider the one uh, two three four five six digits so due to this there will be a true error of this zero point triple zero triple zero six five because we have chopped it we have removed all the values beyond two and if we r do rounding i mean round of uh, technique then we convert this nine to three so in that case uh, the true error has been decreased uh, so this is the reason that why we need chopping and drowning off uh, e even in computers uh, and we cannot store a very long numbers because of the storage capacity of the computers like the fixed size of a bit so in that case either we have to round off or we have to chop so let's do one example uh, example 3.7 that is about the chopping and yes this example is 3.7 so it is saying the derivative of f of x is 1 minus 3x here is given by this expression so this is the expression and do you expect to have difficulties evaluating this function at this 0 0.5577 value so let's try three and four digits arithmetic chopping so what happens for example this is the function the derivative of function and we have to evaluate this value of this uh, derivative at 0 0.577 uh, first case by using three digits and the next case by using four digits so let's do it i again use the excel 
for example uh, let me yeah here so this is the problem and here is the excel okay so the first thing the true value the true answer true value is actually directly put uh, 6 multiplied by 0 0.577 divided by 1 minus 3 multiplied by uh, 0 0.577 square and then its whole square yeah so this is the true value if you put the value of 0 0.577 in this expression and you, you will get this value okay so now let's do the uh, first case three digits chopping so in three digits chopping how we can do that for example let's first calculate the value of 6x 6x so how much will be 6x 6 into 0 0.577 If you want to see the values, uh, I mean, the, the more digits, you can click it here. And yeah, so this this is the chopped value. And then about x square, x square. So how much is this? This is 0 0.577 square. Okay, and then I multiply this 3 by x square. So it will become 3 multiplied by now uh, here what I do I just chop the I just keep the three digits and chop the all remaining digits so I just keep here 3.46 okay and then Okay, now if you want to do chopping after decimal point, you can again, it's, it's your choice. For example, uh, when we talk about the uh, three digits, let's keep them after the decimal point. I go for 3.462. We, we chop the three digits after the decimal point. And here if I do chopping, so I just chop the three, I just keep the three digits after the decimal point and chop the remaining one. And then this will be 3 multiplied by 0 0.33 the chopped value this is the x now there is no need to uh, chop but let, let's see yeah it is there okay and now I calculate 1 minus 3 x square so just subtract this value from 1 so you will get 1 minus 3x square okay and now let's calculate the value of 6x the, uh, I mean the full value or the chopped value we can say value after chopping so it will be that is equal to 6x so 3.462 divided by 1 minus 3x square this value square so it is 216375 so you can see that we have uh, a significant uh, difference between the true value and the value after chopping and this chopping we have done after the decimal point so it should be uh, in the question uh, it should be uh, clear that this three digits chopping should be after the decimal point or before that it should be clear uh, okay let's do it now so how much is the percentage error because we have the true value so how much will be the percentage error error or the true error we can say because we have the true value 
true value minus the value of the chopping and we can convert into the percentage error divided by true value multiplied by 100 so this is 90.8 is it uh, let me check it again if it is correct this minus this so it's too big it's 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 huge okay so now let's go for uh four digits chopping 